Imagine failing at a major project, something you spent your hard effort and time in failing. Or imagine lying to your woman, your significant other, and getting caught. Or even worse, you overhear her joke to her female friends about your shortcomings in bed. Now I want you to notice something else. How do you react with your body, your eyes, your breath? How do you react to this? Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been alright. You see, during these times of hurtful, painful scenarios, where our emotions are spiked high and our ego is hurt, during these times, you probably notice that you find it hard to look at the other person's eyes, to keep eye contact. Your chest, your solar plexus becomes tense, almost as if it's quite tight. Your body language becomes contracted, insecure, shy, worried, all of this are signs of an unskillful reaction to hurt. And that is because when your body does this, it becomes a cage. You are unable to think clearly, to think straight and act. You are unable to act when your body is becoming consciously contracting, closing in on itself, tight, tense, worried. You are unable to act during these times. And you see, there is one thing I want you to focus on, the key to living with an open heart, even though it hurts. You know, when you deal with these painful, hurtful scenarios, there is a key to dealing with it. And that is, I want you to focus on your breath. You see, the top 1% men, the top, top 1% of guys, the guys who have their dream house, their dream family, financial freedom, where they can spend time with their family because their financial wealth is a success the girl of his dreams, family of his dreams, the body of his dreams, they go traveling around the world. The people I'm talking about are people such as Hamza, Iman Gadzi, or Andrew Huberman, who's an intelligent scientist who understands greatly about the body's reaction to self-improvement. All of these incredible top 1% men, all of these guys practice in this very secret that I'm about to tell you. And that is during these times of pain, Instead of letting your body close up, become tense, contracted, preventing you from being able to think clearly or act, I want you to focus on your breathing. I want you to stare at the other person's eyes during these stressful, painful situations. And I want you to take a big, deep breath through your nose, not down to your chest. I want you to breathe down to your stomach. So your stomach literally rises. Only during these times when you are staring at the other person's eyes, your body is relaxed, you're taking a big deep breath all the way to your stomach. So your whole body to your stomach becomes relaxed. Only during these times do you give off this aura of confidence and you are able to act. You are able to think clearly. When your body is relaxed, you are relaxed. When your body is tense, you are tense. The top 1% man he practices in this every single day. Every time that there is a stressful or a situation that spikes our emotions, hurts our ego, instead of letting our body become the cage where it starts contracting on itself, becomes tense, your chest is tight, you find it hard to look in the other person's eyes, you say no, you look up, you look in the other person's eyes, and you take a big, big, deep breath. You take a manual breath from your nose all the way to your stomach. So your whole body becomes relaxed. Only when the front of your body is relaxed and open, when your breath is deep and full, your gaze is unguarded and directly connected to the person in front of you, can your fullest intelligence fully manifest spontaneously in that moment. Only then can you properly act and properly think. If you think about it, if you think of the man who is dealing in these stressful situations, these painful, hurtful situations and scenarios. The man who becomes very closed in on himself, can't look at the other person's eyes, his chest is tight, he's stuttering his words, he looks insecure. Compared to the man, the top 1% man, who brings his shoulders back, who takes a big deep breath, still keeps eye contact and acts with confidence, is able to even act and thinks clearly. He does not give off 
the aura that he's insecure. He gives off the feeling that he's got a skillful reaction to her, that he has a very good hold and control of his life. Hopefully this helped you out. I hope things have been good and I hope you've been alright. It's been a while since I've done these sort of like one-on-one -on -one chat videos. I do miss these, these are really really nice. I'll put it in like a playlist so you can see all my other one-on-one -on -one chats. Uh, but it's been a while. I've recently been really getting into the book, um, Way of the Superior Man. Absolutely love it, I do recommend you give it a read. It has genuinely helped me with a lot, a lot of things. So I hope you've been good and I hope things have been alright. And I hope this video helped you out and I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the one in the corner because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my chair is so low, my camera is so high, so I look like a miniature human being. Uh, <laughs> come here, some broom kiss. Mwah.